going to the Capitol. We're going to try and give them the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. Some of the people who breached the Capitol today were not Trump supporters. They were masquerading as Trump supporters and in fact were members of the violent terrorist group Antifa. Sitting members of Congress, Republicans, actually aided and abetted this coup attempt. There will be no charges against the police officer that shot Jacob Blake in the back seven times. Democrats will retake the Senate. Bernie Sanders will become the budget committee chairman. Donald Trump was banned from Twitter and expectedly he lost his mind. Donald Trump is now the first president in US history to be impeached twice. They are responding in state legislatures across the country with new draconian restrictions on voting. They're doing voter suppression. Joseph R. Biden has been president now for a full week. A betrayal. Georgia voters enraged after Democrats' promise of $2,000 checks becomes $1,400 under Biden's stimulus plan. Donald Trump was acquitted. People in Texas right now are literally freezing to death. Ted Cruz, however, decided to pick up and run. And these photos went viral of him and his family choosing to go to Cancun. A single subreddit, Wall Street Bets, beat short sellers at their own game and gave these hedge funds a taste of their own medicine. Biden approved an airstrike in Syria and the Senate parliamentarian shot down federal minimum wage hike through reconciliation. Dems can overrule her, but Biden doesn't want to. And now a third accuser has come out accusing Andrew Cuomo of sexual harassment. Miss Cinema, Miss Cinema. No. Powell argues in her motion that no reasonable person would conclude that her accusations of Dominion's election rigging scheme were truly statements of fact. Bill SB202, and it is one of the most draconian pieces of voter suppression that we've seen for decades. In fact, it's so bad it's being called Jim Crow 2.0. Matt Gates is said to face Justice Department inquiry over sex with an underage girl. Actually, you and I went to dinner uh, about two years ago. Your wife was there and I brought a friend of mine. You'll remember her. That was one of the weirdest interviews I've ever conducted. The jury has found Derek Chauvin guilty on all three counts. Your response when you see children wearing masks as they play should be no different from your response to seeing someone beat a kid in Walmart. Call the police immediately. If you're like 21 years old and you say to me, should I get vaccinated? I, I go, no. Countries like India are seeing an absolutely brutal second wave with more than 300,000 new cases per day. What's happening is Israel is trying to expel eight families out of their homes. Israeli forces also attacked the al aqsa Mosque on Friday. And I guarantee you, I want to know why what happened in Minamar can't happen here. No reason. I mean, it, it should happen here. No reason. Right? Nina Turner. She is in first place. Segregation was the worst thing this country ever did. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. It sticks to my neck, too. Oh no, Sam Cedar! What a whoa, no. what a fucking nightmare! You, we have a deal. This victory is ours. Biden DOJ backs Trump Line 3 approval. An American hero and an anti-imperialist legend has passed away over the weekend. And I am of course referring to Mike Gravel. So this individual who catapulted critical race theory into the mainstream of political discourse is admitting right here. They're making critical race theory a boogeyman. Did we aggressively fight against some of the science? Uh, yes. Massive protests have indeed erupted in Cuba. As our nation returns closer to pre-pandemic life, tonight the Delta variant is COVID's most serious threat. The establishment's war on Nina Turner is working. Her lead has shrunk drastically. Leaked IPCC draft climate report reads like a 4,000 page indictment 
of humanity's failure. Factory workers at the Frito-Lay plant in Topeka, Kansas went viral after they went on strike and explained just how terrible the working conditions are at this particular factory. The Senate passed their bipartisan infrastructure proposal. She got Joe Biden to unilaterally extend the moratorium on evictions. Nina Turner lost. Oh, Afghanistan has fallen to the Taliban. At least three people died after falling to their deaths while clinging on to a U.S. plane. You are in violation of the Nuremberg Code! Due to pressure from progressives, Nancy Pelosi refused to allow a vote on the bipartisan infrastructure bill in the House until the Senate passed the $3.5 trillion budget resolution. The situation is bad in this country as it relates to COVID-19. Last weekend, Florida reported over 150,000 new COVID cases and ICU capacity is at 94% with 59 hospitals anticipating critical staffing shortages and Oak Hill Hospital CEO Mickey Smith says that staffers are quitting as they reach their breaking point because of all of this and yet people aren't taking the virus seriously. Vaccinations have ticked up but not enough to where we reach herd immunity. So we can actually put this virus behind us, at least in the United States. Conservative radio host who mocked vaccines, Phil Valentine, dies of COVID-19. Vocal anti-vaccine broadcaster Dick Farrell dies from COVID-19 complications. How many more deaths is it going to take? Turns out I got COVID. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin. 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 And ivermectin. Ivermectin. But when it comes to the California recall election, this is a really serious moment that I think people need to take seriously because what we're about to witness is possibly a power grab by the GOP who is taking advantage of California's absurd laws. In 2021 America, we're going back to the medieval times when it comes to women's reproductive health. And according to AP, this could be one of America's swiftest large-scale expulsions of migrants or refugees in decades. The U.S. military admitted that it killed 10 innocent civilians via a drone strike in Kabul. <laughs> Counties with large Trump vote shares are seeing higher COVID death rates due to widespread vaccine hesitancy among right-wingers. And this didn't happen on accident. The vaccine hesitancy is being pushed by Republicans, not all Republicans, but it's especially being pushed by the right-wing media sphere. We need a Build Back Better time right now. Dave Chappelle says he's team turf. Do you truly, in your heart of hearts, truly believe that this is a human being? This? Without a doubt. Without a doubt? Yes. This is a dolphin feeder. Workers are all collectively standing up and they're saying enough is enough and they're demanding better. Better treatment, livable wages, 10,000 John Deere workers are on strike, 37,000 healthcare workers at Kaiser Permanente are on strike, according to labor reporter Jonah Furman. I mean, I can't keep up. How many elections are they gonna steal before we kill these people? So, well, no. Joe Manchin won, progressives at this point have lost. Are you confident that those two senators will be for it? Because they have been less than definitive in what they've said so far. Probably. It's been called for Glenn Youngkin, who narrowly defeated Terry McAuliffe. It's the left who's being blamed for Terry McAuliffe's loss. Byron Brown is going to defeat India Walton 59 to 41 percent. The Pentagon is a larger polluter than 140 countries combined. How can we seriously talk about net zero? If there is this bipartisan consensus to constantly expand this large contributor to climate change. The judge ruled on Monday that because Mr. Jones refused to turn over documents ordered by the courts, including financial records, he was liable by default. May the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. You don't sound like a Democrat to me. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Oh. Woo! Travel chaos as countries around the world race to shut out the Omicron variants. We are now in a race against time.